I've got to ask the question, but is it realistic that the coach has a target to reach the semi-final? And I said, but what is the problem when you have a target? So at the end of AFCON, is the coach staying or leaving? I said, well, the coach has two targets, take the team to the semi-final. Of course, the understanding is this team will go beyond the semi-final to the final. The other target is we need to qualify for the World Cup. So perhaps just to clear the public out there, the targets are two. So both have to come into being before any other decision is taken. Of course, this is our coach and the best coach in the country. And I don't think of anyone who would want to part away with someone who has achieved this much. But anyway, I thought I should bring this element in because every time I'm out there, coach, I'm asked about your target. So rest assured, uh, people are looking at this target, but I know me and you have agreed on a better, greater and exciting target. We're here today to honor amongst you those who have represented the nation many times, those that have played over 50 games. And we believe it's indeed a great honor that you have done that on behalf of the nation. On behalf of the association, we want to congratulate you. And on behalf of the nation, we also want to congratulate you because of the achievement. And that achievement surely tells how committed you have been representing your nation. But that commitment and achievement should also be seen in terms of your output in the field, because indeed you have enough experience to ensure a difference. We just went through the history to check how many players went through this landmark achievement. A number of them did, but very few of them are left in the squad. And I'm told, uh, program director, plus minus six now, yes, about five of those that have achieved that are within the squad. That then for tells that we have got a wealth of experience in the process. On behalf of all the players who are honored today, uh, I would like to thank everyone who's been there throughout our careers and uh, uh, all the coaches who have coached us and to me especially to, to, to the goalkeeper coaches who, who have made it possible for me to be where I am because without them I wouldn't be where I am. Uh, it's through their training session uh, that made me a better goalkeeper and I know it wasn't easy because uh, goalkeeper coaches have come and have, and have gone both at club level and at uh, national level but uh, with the God's grace I managed to adapt to all their training sessions but again everyone who's present thank you very much for the support throughout and I wish I can have more caps in more years to come. Again on behalf of SAFA, uh, the coaches and players past and present and future of course, uh, I would like to thank everyone who's been there for me and who has supported me. So yeah, thank you very much. <clears throat> Only been in a position where we've got to have faith in our own hands, you know. But um, obviously, I'm absolutely delighted that they also drew nil nil because we all start on equal footing again, you know. As I said before, I thought that um, uh, we, I was very disappointed with our performance in the match against Cape Verde because it was our first game, and I was hoping to get something out of this game and you know really get it going. But it was tough, and uh, we never did that. And of course, with them drawing, it just makes everything equal again. We've got a very passionate fans in South African football. They're, they're fantastic supporters and they're very, very passionate, you know. And um, I think maybe like, like we were and like the players were, they may have been a little bit disappointed as well, you know. So, um, you know, we want to win. You know, the expectations are very high. There's a lot of pressure on the team at the moment. There's a big, a lot of talk about the 96 squad and they're right in our faces all the time and the players are seeing this and reading this and, and, and there's a lot of pressure on the players. All of a sudden, from nowhere, this pressure has come and this pressure, unfortunately, is there which shouldn't be there. It's been created. So, we have to deal with that and um, you know the fans out there especially here in Durban as, as uh, our president said and the executive mayor said it's a good hunting ground for us here and I think there'll be a lot of less pressure on the players here.